we have no clue what we're gonna find here. He will hold head yep. and the body, yep. and he will snatch it at once, so it dies quick. And then the locals from the village, they just come by and they know that we are here and they're sharing the food. Hey champs, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Tag Along With Chai. We are in Udung Thani in a small little village called Kam Yang. We've got a local friend here, her name is Pai. And we've got my mother here, we've got a few friends here. Her mother, Of Pai, is here as well. I asked my friend, like, what is traditional here and something really interesting? And she told me there is a rat farm here. We're gonna go to this rat farm. At the end of this video, we're gonna cook the rat as well eat the red, see what it's like. I never ate this before. I would like to show you something traditional and this is definitely one of the things that uh, yeah, is part of this community, I would say. We are on the road, it's raining, <laughs> it's all happening. We've got Pai in the back, she's gonna translate a little bit, I think. Yeah. We've got Mama. Mama too, Mama of Pai. Yeah. And we've got Eric behind the steering wheel. Woo, rock and roll. So we have no clue what we're gonna find here. Oh, a lot. This process is during the breeding process where he put one big male yeah. and then two small mother, the female together yeah. so yeah. they can uh, reproduce. Wow, so one man, two ladies. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he got that. He got that. <laughs> <laughs> These are the babies, they're two months old. Yeah. Um, so basically they, he breeds yeah. and then he sells them. This one's sitting alone. Why is it sitting alone? Oh, this is pregnant one. Just waiting for labor. And how many rats can a uh, one rat have? Eight to nine rats. Why do they raise them in the dark? Because that's the nature of the rats. They like oh, li to live living in the dark. Ah, yeah. oh, that makes sense. So it grows, otherwise you have distress. So they keep him in the dark all the time? Yeah. Can we buy a rat today? Oh, just a small one if you want to try. 50 baht, 60 baht per, per rat. Yeah, can we... <laughs> oh, I asked him, is it going to be like delicious? The yeah. big one is like, yeah, it's the same. It's the same? Same taste. Oh, so we, can we, should we buy two rats? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay. okay. Can so we... Two rats. Die. Okay. Yeah. He can do. Your uncle is is at home to yeah, he, to cook for us, right? Yeah, he can cook that. And then he's gonna kill the rat as well, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we're not gonna show that, but we definitely, yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna eat some rat. That's very traditional here. I think. I, are you gonna taste with us or? I don't think. I'm just gonna no? rent check on that. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Not, I'm that's not okay. Ready. We got we got Eric here. He's gonna. <laughs> this is corn. Yeah. This is this is what they get fat. And they go good on this, eh? They grow. We're gonna put them in the bag. We're gonna do it just a traditional way. My friend Pai never have done this, but her uncle that was staying at the house that we just left from, he's gonna prepare the rats for us. The rats, they bite him all the time, pretty much, he was just saying, and they're disease free, so he doesn't have to go to hospital. These are totally different rats that you see, like the big cat rats, I would call them. In uh, Bangkok, for example, they're, yeah, they're really dirty rats, have diseases, they're not eatable. I think some people eat them, but yeah, they're, they show, this is like safe to eat, safe to, to work with. What do you got there, Pai? Tamarine. What's that? Tamarine. Ah. Sour na. So suck it. Mm. Yeah, cool it, yeah. Mm. Sour? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very sour. Yeah, we mm. use it with cooking for the sourness. Seriously, oh. there's so much fruit we, <laughs> we are getting. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mama, what do you think of the farm? Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't like Why it. Why not? Because I'm afraid of rats. Ah, he's only got 40 rats left and he told us also that yeah, he's not really healthy, normally has got a lot more rats and now he's trying to get rid of them and finish this business. But yeah, he's also saying that he sold everything really quick because the prices are cheap and a lot of people, they eat rat here in the neighborhood. So yeah, it's definitely a good business. So if you're watching and you're local in Urutani, you can pick up all these uh, boxes with rats and you get the whole breeding package basically for only a thousand baht per unit. It's including two females and one 
a mill rat plus the unit itself, the, the, the concrete tubes. Anyway, let's pick up these rats and start cooking. I won't blame you if you now turn off this video because we're gonna catch the rats and then we're gonna go through the cooking process. We catch them alive and our uncle, our local uncle of the village, he's gonna prepare it. So he's gonna have to probably kill it. It's not a really pretty looking episode this time, I'm afraid, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, just gonna have to experience it. Let's go. All right. Oh, I got two here. <laughs> okay, nice, thank you. Huh? What is happening? So okay. the killing process goes he will he will hold head yeah. and the body yeah. and he will snatch it at once so it dies quick. Before he go boiling. Before go boiling. So he's not boiling so, it to death? No, so he's he killed very fast, very so quick. Does he break the neck? Shy, like, oh, like okay. the, the neck done. Yeah. Uncle broke its neck. After boiling it, we can take the fur off easily. And then we're gonna grill it on the barbecue. And yeah, we're not gonna eat the intestines, not the insides. It's not gonna taste well, Uncle is saying. So we're just gonna eat the outside of the of the rat. Yeah, it's all happening. Lao Kao's uh, rice wine. Cup and cup. Nice little shot. I think it's like 35%. Hmm. Yeah. He was saying you're gonna have to drink this while eating the rat, so we're probably gonna have a few more of those. Oh wow. Wow, that was a really quick, like one little dip in the skin of the till came off. Oh, now he's burning the skin, or burning the, the hairs off. Okay, one more. A little heads up, uncle is gonna cut out all the intestines and all the inside of the rat. We're gonna season it and then we are gonna grill it. So it's not gonna look very pretty. He basically takes whatever you can't eat out of the inside of the rat and then he's still rinsing it out. I'm gonna put it on the barbecue in a minute. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tasty. I'm, I'm getting a little bit peckish here now. It's got MSG, salt, and lemongrass. Basically, yeah. that's the that's the ingredients for the seasoning. So the reason why you put lemongrass is to just uh, distinguish out the the bad smell of the rat. Oh, yeah. You wanna eat the appetizer maybe? No. Yes. That's the worst part, probably. You cannot eat rats the whole That's year the because way. the rat doesn't come. It will only come in um, harvest season, like yeah. rice harvesting season and cold season. Okay. So you can eat like once a year or twice. Ah. Just once a year from like. What are you? From the rice. Wake <laughs> up. Uh, season. And he was mentioning that uh, he liked the rats yeah. and mm -hmm. the pork and the beef um, at the same level because the textures of the meat are different. It's not uh, the same texture, so you can't compare. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can't compare. My mom just keeps feeding. Hey, bye. This is like Asian, bye. Asian like girl. The yeah. love that you give is the fruit that you give. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The neighbor just uh, joined us. Have a little shot. Oh. At the moment, he said he's doing. 
his yeah, house right, right yeah. now yeah. is yeah. cooking the rat as well. Oh, no way. For meal. His wife is cooking it at a different house, but not on the barbecue. No, they're cooking it in a banana leaf and they steam the rat. So it's a different process. But it is very common here to eat rat. Yeah, and we're gonna... Um, oh. So what he cooks with is, you know, like the flower of the... the banana the banana leaf? No, not the leaf, the flower. Oh so yeah, the purple. That, that, yeah, that flower, he cooks it with the rats mm -hmm. and then some uh, Thai herbs like lemongrass, uh, chili yeah. and all those like good, good smells. Um, and then he wrap with <laughs> banana leaves and a steam. Ah, wow. And he said he will bring it here. Oh, we can taste the difference. Oh, you can taste. Nice. Chai too. Thank you. The 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 red tail. What you eat the whole thing? Yeah. I need but say yang, but say kue, say yang. This is no flavoring. No flavoring, no seasoning. No seasoning. Mm. Just red tail. Ah. To be honest, it's a bit chewy. No, not chewy. It's not chewy. There are hard bits inside. Yeah, because of the bone. Yeah, it's cartilage. Yeah. Mm. But uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. My uncle. My Thai uncle. <laughs> How do I say my Thai uncle in Thai? Lung Kon Thai. Lung Kon Thai. What? They be lung in the main well there's some chickens here they just uh, came through the gate they're not from us or they're not from the family that we're staying they're just walking loose someone is owning them i'm sure ah yeah please please oh, with the head he's got the head okay we're just gonna eat it yeah yeah cheers oh Oh, he's got it. He's got it. In the local way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Chai. Ah, cup kung cup. All right. Cheers, champs, to um, all the new subscribers. And to uh, Eric Pai, our translator. To my mom. And to uncle, because he's uh, have been uh, doing a great job. Also, cheers to the farmer. Cheers to uh, our host, the mother of Pai. Man, cheers to everyone, right? Tastes really good. Really good. <laughs> ah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So our neighbor is here as well. Um, steamed in banana leaf. Another another piece of red. It's weird how good this tastes. Yeah, it's good, eh? No, it's really good. I wouldn't expect it to be this tasty, to be honest. Oh, hey, I think it's because it's, it's so marinated. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hold up and like go and try it? All right, this is something else. It looks spicy though. Mm. Aloy, ma. No, yeah, very nice. Thank you so much. Cup of my cup. Wow. Can you imagine? We are like in a village, right? Oh. We're in, we in a village. Somewhere near the border of Lao in Udon, Tani. Yeah? And then the locals from the village, they just come by and they know that we are here and they're sharing the food. Just earlier on, we went to a different restaurant. A lady started talking to us and she was like, Oh, let's, uh, let's you, can, uh, you can have these plants. And actually, come, come over, come over. Come over. So they gave our buddy Eric, yeah, and the camera lady, um, <laughs> Pai, she's also like behind the camera. She was also with us. We got actually given this, and we're gonna plant that. Gonna plant that later on oh, there as well. There you go. Like, I just want to say, I just want to mention that the local people over here, you know, they're so friendly. Like they're they're, they're getting friendlier and friendlier the further you uh, uh, you move away from the city. I've got the feeling. Amazing stuff. This red is also something else, like so much flavor. So many different, I've got lime grass in there, got chili, soybean, Charlotte, I think is in there. There's so many different flavors in there. I, I can't even, I don't know what I'm talking about really, but <sighs> welcome to Thailand. I was eating pig brain before in Chiang Mai and just my mind couldn't handle this, but this 
It's really, really tasty. The meat is tender. The flavors are like this. This one is actually seasoned with soybean sauce, fish sauce, um, lemongrass, salt. Yeah, there, it is a bit salty as well. It's actually good. I wouldn't lie to you. Like I, then again, like if I wouldn't like it, I would have, uh, I would have told you. But this is actually really, really tasty. And then we're just gonna carry on drinking eating there's mukata coming our way <laughs> it's gonna be uh, the start of the night i would like to say thank you very much for watching at the moment it's uh, possible to be a member to join the channel this will keep the channel going for way longer than just a year i'm gonna do another year in thailand all thailand related uh, people related this one is about like a little bit of traditional thai i hope you join the ride anyway no matter what you do thank you for commenting liking and just watching once more till the very end. I would like to say from Isan in Udantani near the border of Laos, bye for now and stay chan!